Hello and welcome to the Oxid Academy online tutorial. In today's video, we will be getting to know the Visual CMS, the integrated content management system of Oxid eShop. With Visual CMS, you can design landing pages, special offers, description and theme pages and much more. On all these pages, you can use widgets to actively integrate content from your shop that you have managed elsewhere, such as products, categories, campaigns and more. We will go through the following topics in detail. A basic comparison of front-end and back-end based on an example landing page, the meta information of a posting, such as general settings, creation of new content, the individual CMS types, various possibilities to break out of the usual shop layout with CSS, and the options in the area of search engine optimization. We will get to know the individual widgets, what types there are, how they behave, and which forms they provide, the design settings with particular focus on responsive design, how the content is played out on different devices and screen sizes, scheduling or time control, and the use of templates. We will get to know the proprietary source code of the visual CMS, the use of snippets, language handling, and towards the end, the options that you also have to create individual widgets and thus differentiate your shop from others. As a demo environment for the video, we are using a locally installed B2B edition of the Oxid eShop. Under Stories landing page, we have created an example page with Visual CMS. When you look at it, you can see that we encounter the first widgets here. Up here, for example, with this banner, the carousel widget. Under it, you'll see the action widget, in which we can process some campaigns. Here with the top products, the offers of the week, all of which you know from the start page. Under that is the blue eye catcher, which we want to use to draw attention to our TV advertising. Below three pictures and at the end, two articles. Of course, the contents of the visual CMS article are responsive, which means that if we shrink the screen here, such as here with portrait, we have a single column view of the article and then the banner, the carousel widget, is scaled accordingly. If we go back to full screen size, the content is adapted accordingly. Now let's take a look at the back end. We are now in the back end of the Oxid eShop. We find the Visual CMS in the Customer Information area in the Visual CMS menu item of the same name. After clicking, the Visual CMS back end is displayed in this large work area. We now let the interface guide us and go through the elements in detail. First, we open the landing page we just saw. To do this, we click in the CMS content field and enter landing. As you can see here where it's yellow, we can find the landing page via a full text search and open it with a click. The corresponding fields are now filled in and the widgets are displayed on the right. The check mark in the active field indicates that the page can be accessed on the internet. In the Settings tab, we have the option to create new content, as was originally possible to open an existing page via CMS content as we have just done, to specify the page title under Title, to assign an ID, an identifier, which we will encounter later, as well as to assign the page to a folder, in this case the folder Customer Info. At the end, we see the SEO URL, which is the address we have specified for our landing page. In the Advanced tab, the widget display in the back end can be replaced by the display of the source code of this Visual CMS article. We get the same by clicking on Show Source Code in the upper right corner. More about this later. The CMS type is also defined here. Whether it's a snippet, which can be integrated into other pages, a main menu entry or, as in this case, a category in the menu before the category stories example category, the page can also be processed manually, in consultation with developers or your agency. Further layout settings can be made here. 
For example, the headline can be hidden, the page can be classified as a landing page in the real sense, so that the footer and header area are hidden and full width layout, so that the whole thing is displayed across the entire screen. You can also refer to an external additional global CSS class to break away from the actual style sheet of the page, which is basically based on the style sheet of the shop. In the last tab, SEO, basic search engine settings can be made. With this box locked at URL, you can, for example, specify the URL to use for campaigns, brochure printing and other advertising areas. Under SEO URL, you specify the address with which the landing page can be accessed. For meta text keywords and description texts, you can enter additional information for the search engines. Let's get to the widgets themselves. Just like the front end, which represents the landing page, the widgets are arranged in this order in the back end. First, the carousel widget at the beginning, which represents the slider, the banner after a spacer, the spacer widget, which is used again and again, the actions widget to integrate promotions that are maintained elsewhere in the shop, including the TV advertising with the text widget, the blue eye catcher. Below in a column view, which can be generated here, these three pictures, which then collapse exactly in this order, when minimizing the screen in the responsive web design view, as well as at the end of the article of the landing page, the two separate articles, in this case, the two neoprene suits. An overview of all available widgets can be found by clicking on Add Widget. These are all 12 widgets that the Visual CMS ships with as standard. All with different colors for use in the back end and for different purposes for display in the front end. All widgets have forms. A widget that is already in use, like the text widget here, has the following form. The structure is always the same, starting with the two tabs, general settings and design settings, and the type of widget. All forms are completely different. The text widget, for example, starts with a what you see is what you get editor, which can be displayed and inserted as HTML here. Other widget types include the image widget with the following form. The gallery widget with this form. And the random articles widget with this form. The principle is always the same, to require as little information as possible from the editor and to display as many results as possible in the front end. Of course, you can also use this principle to have individual widgets developed for you. Simply contact your agency. The width of the widgets can be adjusted in the back end using the grippers. Within this six column structure, the width of the widgets can be defined. Clicking on Add Widget adds another widget in the next free space, in this case, here. Stretch to width, the whole thing can be checked with the preview view as you can see here. Our blue eye catcher is only half as wide and right next to it is our newly added text widget. As previously introduced in the advanced tab, external global CSS classes can be used as references to change the style. The same can be done here by clicking on the magic wand, individual CSS classes. Here it becomes clear that only these landing page valid standard classes can be used and overwritten. So you can change the design for this landing page only. For example, to distinguish yourself from the usual shop style depending on regional or seasonal events. All visual CMS content can also be saved as templates by clicking on the bookmark icon in the top right corner to get a list of all templates. To save this landing page as a new template, enter the name here and then click Save. By clicking this button, we can open an existing template to see if it is the right one. To apply it, we click here on the plus sign. You can also schedule replacing a landing page with another page. 
Here we click on the clock symbol and in order to delete a template, we click on the trash. If Visual CMS is opened again and we find an empty editing mask, we can take over the widgets from an existing template like this. We click on plus and get all the widgets with empty meta information. We now open our landing page again to keep the original condition. With the third icon, the widget view can be replaced by a view of the Visual CMS proprietary source code. Here you can see that it is our own Visual CMS description language, but it uses many HTML elements, for example, rows and columns, but especially the classes. That's how the classes which we created here manually in the area of the magic wand or added via the Advanced tab via a global external CSS class can be assigned. In addition, elements and entire pages can be copied and pasted like this. So, if we take this area with rows for example, we can duplicate these two widget rows several times. This becomes apparent when we display the widgets again. We have now duplicated this spacer and the action widget several times. You can also replace whole pages like this. With the last button, you can remove all widgets from a post or delete all the source code. That way, the page is empty, but the edited content can be used in this left meter area and the page can be rebuilt. We now open Visual CMS again and reopen our landing page. As a result, we get the widgets again and can present the last feature in this video, the snippets. Under Advanced, if we change our CMS type from Category to Snippet, and then Save, the Settings tab tells us that this landing page can now be integrated into other pages under the Snippet with the ID Ox demo page. We now copy this snippet content to the clipboard, open the Visual CMS again, create some new content, assign the identifier demo to it, activate the page and save it. Now we can insert this snippet content with a text widget. Stretched to the full width, the entire other page is now removed by the snippet instead of this text widget. If we now insert an article as an example in front of this text widget, and another article to the right of it, we get this new page, Demo, with the two articles at the beginning and the content of the previous landing page below. As a result, if we save the page and define it as a category in the same place where we had the landing page, we get this new page, Demo. This allows you to integrate entire pages into other pages, giving you a very dynamic way to publish them. Finally, let's have a look at the language handling of the Visual CMS. To do this, we go back to the back end and open the drop-down list in the upper right corner. There you will find a list of all languages this Oxid eShop offers. If we now switch from this English demo site to German, we get a question whether we only want to load the language, i.e. the German counterpart to this English site, in case it already has been created or whether we would like to take over the original content in order to translate it from English into this new German site. 
I decide to load this language and get the content for the German page. As an example, I am now removing the embedded landing page and adding some German content at the beginning. If we save this new German page now, by the way we can change the SEO URL, which will have the tag EN here as well, then we get the German counterpart in the front end when changing languages. So with the heading and without starting the integrated landing page, we hope you enjoy using Visual CMS and enriching your Oxid eShop with lots of interesting content.